Today in an exclusive video, you'll witness an actual Ku Klux Klan induction ceremony. And you'll meet the 19-year-old boy in this shocking video who has sworn to live his life by the laws of the Klan. You'll also meet these members of the KKK. What might surprise you, though, is that behind these masks are a grandmother, her three sons, their wives, and the most shocking of all, a 10-year-old little girl and her two-year-old sister. This entire family joined the KKK only three months ago. Today, they'll tell us why. Hi, and welcome to the show. You know, of all the shows we've done, there's one former guest who always seems to come to mind. He's 68-year-old Grand Dragon of the Ku Klux Klan, Gordon Parks. Well, well, Gordon's back today with an entire family, which he's recruited into the Klan, including two little girls who are only 10 and 2 years of age. Later on, we're going to meet them. But before I bring Gordon out, I want you to take a look at this video. Look at this. When I was nine year old, we hung in this tree. And uh, my daddy and grandpa, and uh, and them was Klu Klux. I've been in all my life. And I was the youngest uh, one, one in the Klu Klux back then. And uh, my grandpa said to me, uh, uh, Gordon, you put the rope around this neck that this, uh, you're the youngest. And I want you to put the rope around this neck. When I was a kid, it ain't like it is now. Things has changed. And uh, my daddy would put me to the blood run out of my legs if I didn't do what they said. Uh, they beat, uh, back then, uh, he, uh, he uh, was uh, drank liquor, and he'd beat me to death if I didn't do what he said. And uh, I had to do it. And uh, we hung him, left there, and they cut his throat, and he, um, he hung there about an hour after we left. And about two weeks later, they found him. Uh, here he is, Gordon Parks. <laughs> say that, boo, you might have a cow. Okay. So All right, shut okay. up and say you boo. All right, there'll be plenty. Okay, hold on. There's going to be there's going to be plenty of opportunity for that. I, um, you have been on our show before. Yeah. Um. And you are a symbol of something that is going on right now. And uh, it's why I want you back here. Uh, tell me why, right now what, is going, what has been going on in your life recently. Well, the way the world's going today, and killing and robbing, these gets out here and kills every okay. day. And right. some people. I understand, I understand that your wife left you. Yeah, I run off with a whole house and preacher. That's wrong the world. Running out claiming to be a preacher and ain't more called by God than a she man left in the you, moon. She left you a preacher don't do that. A preacher don't get out here and bust up homes and run off. There ain't nothing but a sorry low down skunk like that would do it. God ain't never called him and never will call him. And the good thing he needs me to put a rope around that bastard and learn him a lesson. Just like so, the rest of them. Yeah. That's what he yeah. needs and he did it too if he keeps yeah. going. Why? The smartest thing your wife ever did was leave you, Gordon. No, uh-uh. Because she left me, it's just like the mother whore out there. You marry a whore and she's going to run off with another man. Yeah. That's what's wrong with the world yeah. today. These whore-hopping preachers and these whore-hopping women running around the sorry best that's going to okay. answer to God one okay. day, Jerry. How, that's yes. what's wrong with the world today. Okay. You're 68. We need to stand up and put okay. a stop to this doing. Back when I was a okay. kid, you didn't see no woman running off with a preacher yeah. calling to be a preacher. Yeah. That's a hound dog, and he ain't no more preacher. God ain't never called him, and never will call a bastard like that okay. to bust up a You're church. You're 68. And nobody will tell me that, right. neither. Gordon. And God is a white person, Gordon, is a white yeah, person. All right. And you can't take a right, and make Gordon. a white person out there. You okay. never will undo God's okay. work. I want people to know what you're really like. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and that's the reason I'm showing this, because I, I, I want a chance for you to see that there are people like this in this world. This is a tape we're going to show of what is in your front yard. Yeah. Yeah. It's a sample, and they know down there. Do yeah. what I tell them to yeah. do. That's why these yeah. one do to be in yeah. Georgia. Yeah, oh, well, shut I up. Them out. Okay, here's, here's the, here's the uh, let's do the what, tape. What, what, let's show the tape. To let the people know that the Ku Klux in Gainesville is still alive, and uh, this year, dummy is like... I hung when I was nine year old. I was raised not to mix with it, and we're not going to mix with it. We're a white organization, and we're going to stay a white organization, and we'll fight to the last drop of blood in us, and there ain't no law said you have to mix with it.
And this killing every day, these getting out here killing innocent white people, uh, if they turn them over to me and let them ha I hang them like that, hung that nice nine-year-old, we wouldn't put up with the killing the innocent people up there. All and right. the law turned them loose, not letting them do nothing about it. But they ain't gonna run over us in Georgia, and they might as well wake up and see the Southern White Ku Klux is gonna give them this exactly what okay. they asked for when they mess with them. Yeah. Boo! Okay, the only excuse for any of this is is that, and, and I say this with this, the only I can't give you any respect, but I can only say to you, and take this in the best way possible, but you are an absolute idiot. <laughs> to Georgia and talk none of you like that. You yeah, got you know what? You come to Georgia and start that and hey, see how free you, know you get. What? I'll straighten you out. You come to game, Gordon, Will. Gordon, I will stand on any street corner. I will stand on any street corner in the heart of Georgia and call you an absolute well, idiot and feel there. very good about come it. There, I'll be there. You won't come, but you won't come down there. I guarantee you, you won't come down there and call Here's me the problem. That. Help me You're out with this. one of you, Gordon. Gordon help me out with this. Try me out. All right, help me out with this now. I understand when you said in your tape that when you, you were a little boy, uh, you said your words that you were going to get beaten up, abused, or something if you didn't follow through with that heinous act of killing another human being. What is unforgivable, because you're, you're ruined, and I feel sorry for you that you are. No, I ain't but, rude, Jerry. But, okay. I'm a white but person. I'm the going point to is, somebody person. did this to you when you were a child. What makes it unforgivable, what you're now doing, is not what you believe, but the fact that you are taking your beliefs and poisoning other human beings, no, recruiting them into the clan. When we come back, come back. Here. Okay, you listen back to I tell you what, when we come back, we are going to meet some of the people. In fact, you're going to meet a mother who believed in Gordon so much that she and her entire family joined him in the Klan. And later on, you're going to see exclusive video of an actual Ku Klux Klan initiation ceremony. Stay with us. And wouldn't it be better to be able to be friends with everybody?